Mosquitoes are our dire enemy, but how do we fight such a highly successful organism? In the wake of Zika and renewed outbreaks of dengue fever, scientists are turning to new management methods, including using factories to mass breed genetically modified mosquitoes. You're familiar with the problem here. Mosquitoes suck our blood, and in doing so, they serve as the perfect blood bridge from individual to individual, spreading deadly pathogens such as yellow fever, Zika, dengue, malaria, West Nile virus, and more. And all they need to reproduce is the tiniest bit of water for their larva. Manage standing water all you want, dust their environment and yours with pesticides, but these most perfect organisms boast an incredible ability to bounce back from these efforts. And that's one reason for the mosquito factories. They're scientific projects aimed at pumping out altered mosquitoes to compete with populations that pose a threat. One such project in Guangzhou, China has reported promising results. They're rearing and releasing mosquitoes infected with Wolbachia bacteria, and for two very good reasons. First, it renders the mosquitoes incapable of carrying a wide variety of dangerous pathogens, a quirk the mosquitoes then pass on to their offspring. Again, the strategy is the same here. Breed these compromised mosquitoes and allow them to overwhelm their disease-spreading brethren. And that's where the second reason for Wolbachia comes into play. It helps to curb overall population as well. When a male Wolbachia-infected mosquito mates with an uninfected female, the resulting eggs don't hatch. Only when both mates carry Wolbachia does the union result in a viable egg which passes on the infection, which, by the way, does not transfer to people. According to The Atlantic, the Guangzhou project currently claims a 99% suppression rate in localized tests and a similar project is currently underway in Australia. Now, the British biotechnology company Oxitec has an even more futuristic tactic. Flood the mosquito population with genetically modified mosquitoes that die four days later and produce offspring that die as larvae. They've been pumping these doomed GM mosquitoes out in Brazil to the tune of two million bugs a week, and as reported in Technology Review, they've seen impressive drops in dengue fever cases as a result. Some scientists hold out hope that such gene editing could even be used to drive mosquitoes mosquitoes into extinction. Now, as great as that sounds, not everybody's crazy about mosquito extinction. Even if we're only talking about the couple hundred or so species out of 3,500 that actually pester humans. They might be pests, but they also make up a great deal of biomass, and as such serve as food for various predators, wipe them out, and you potentially unbalance the ecosystem. And not everyone's crazy about the GMO thing either, especially in species so intimately connected to our own blood supply. More reasonable critics question a commercial company's use of proprietary gene codes to combat illness, while conspiracy theorists in Brazil have even gone so far as to erroneously blame Zika on genetically modified mosquitoes. Hey, until vaccination catches up with the threat, all options remain on the table, and the resulting advancements just redefine how humans manipulate every detail of their environment. So which mosquito curbing method do you prefer? Let us know, and if you want more weird science wonder, be sure to check out now.howstuffworks.com each and every day.